Hey, down here, any cubic mega zero. Here's part two, and bar. There is Jerry the Barnzilla. Hey everybody, Don here. How's it going? <laughs> well, I did about three days non-stop printing. And, well, did have some problems with the bed. There'll be a short video on that in a little bit. But, let me show you what I've been printing. Okay, first off, I did the owl print, came out, as you can see from the gray filament, some light and dark stripes in there, but surface is really fine. I mean, if you can hear that, that's my fingernail going across the surface. It is fine. Print came out really nice. And bottom is really smooth. <coughs> then, <laughs> While everybody else is also printing the one or the other, <laughs> I decided Baby Yoda has to be here too. So I printed this one. And then, uh, normally with every new filament that I get, I'll print a gnome just to see how it comes out but uh, I wanted to print a, print a gnome again and forgot <laughs> what size I printed it at <laughs> and this is what came out <laughs> a little bitty gnome as you can see here <laughs> that thing is really tiny but it looks <laughs> Looks okay. <laughs> <coughs> then I went for the test with this. My retraction is really good. I have it set, I think, around eight. And that is perfect for retraction because uh, there's no hairs anywhere here in between. Um, the I'm trying to cover this to show you that at last, but uh, the bridging the bridging came out really nice, I must say. Okay, there's a little bit of drooping on the top, too. On the second one, there is one string that's hanging down a little bit away from the rest. But I would say if that is uh, Let's say the 30 millimeter looks looks okay. The other one is at 25 millimeters and it has some drooping in it. I don't know why. But the 20 millimeters down, they came out really good. But then the overhang in percentage
looks like that. The 20, 30, 40, and then at the 50 millimeters, I'm not sure if you can see it, but there is a little point right there. Uh, let's say at 50 millimeters, uh, at 50 degrees, I would have to use a uh, support. <laughs> But then again, you know, it all depends on the model, what you have. And then something that I found in Thingiverse when I was looking for Godzilla, I found Barnzilla. <laughs> yeah, Jerry, here you are. <laughs> Barnzilla. That's the name of it. I'll put a link down in the description to the Thingiverse models that I printed out. If I can find all of the links. Because, for example, my GNOME, I've had that thing for two years now, I think. <laughs> but I'll check it out. <coughs> this model, no supports, came out really nice, I must say. It has these, this... Uh, rough surface as if it's um you know real <laughs> but uh yeah and then of course Jerry from Barnacles his head on top of it <laughs> I didn't do it there Jerry this is something that I found in Thingiverse and then I wanted to do a useful test or print let's say and that is for this here and you can see that you can see this right here that was in the back left corner even though I was doing an on-the-fly correction it didn't help that's for nozzles uh, MK8 and MK10 whereby something that I don't understand right now I have the MK8 in the 10 and they're supposed to be down here <laughs> and that one could have fell on the floor oh yes you, you have what is it? Five positions for a 0 0.4, then you have a 0 0.2, and then a 0 0.3, 0 0.3, 0 0.4s, then you have a 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, 0 0.8, and then 1.0, 1.0, and 1.2. And that's the same going through with the MK10s too, I think. I don't know, wait a minute. That is 0 0.4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You have six positions for 0 0.4. That, make, that means you, you can make sure you have enough nozzles for a 0 0.4 for standard. <laughs> But uh, well, now all I have to do is just get some more nozzles, fill that thing up so that I have enough, uh, enough nozzles here. Yeah, but um, anyway, as you'll see in short video, that'll be directly attached here. That's where I filmed the bed and showed you the problems on the bed. So let's take a look at that. So here is that bed on the Anycubic Mega Zero. And uh, I did some interesting prints. The bed, I measured it out. It is um, 
3.66 millimeters thick. There's a steel plate that is coated, but I must say it is not worth it at all. Um, for the small prints and everything, I was having no problem at all. Then I went to print something, as you can see here, that was a lot bigger. And all of a sudden, I started having first layer problems without end. This bed is not heated. It doesn't have any heat bed at all. So there can't be any warping. But, as you can see here, the front corners, they're okay. The back right corner is okay. The back left corner was okay. But I don't know what happened there during the print, even though I did a complete new re-leveling. The biggest problem is is coming to the middle of the of the plate on both sides going into the middle there's only a spot right here that is okay. Here's a spot where it was too close here it is too close to the bed as you can see right here and right here it's too close here here too close to the bed um, it's not bad but I'm going to get a wham bam system and put it on here with a flex bed that'd be a lot easier for me to, mo to for me to get the prints off because even though all the prints that I did they were all being printed here in the middle and uh... <laughs> well <laughs> I don't know <laughs> let me get something else and put it on there and then we'll try it out again so like I said in the video that you just saw uh... I do have contact with Wham Bam because um... Wham Bam wanted some information for me a couple of months ago about the one how D9, the 300 bed, what size it is and everything and I made a posting in the official one how D9 group so that everybody could go there and say yeah hey Wham Bam I would like to have one too here's the size of my bed you know and uh, well it looks like um, I might be getting a couple of plates at a discount I'm not sure <laughs> but we'll see anyway until the next time y'all take care don't forget to subscribe hit the like button leave a comment down below you know all that good stuff that we have to do so that YouTube will accept you <laughs> and take a look at the other videos that I have posted too I'm running out of watch time but maybe this year maybe I'll be able to get it up and going and like I said in the other video part one of this uh, so around about the 10th or 11th I will be getting a resin printer sent to me so that's all for now y'all take care happy printing and until the next time bye